Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or if this is your first time here welcome I'm so excited for this laundry organization video and I hope you enjoy it and subscribe if you're new so I went ahead and just um, pretty much took everything out of the closet and everything that was on top of the dryer and pretty much just wiped down the washer and dryer from the outside just made sure that you know, it was not dusty or anything. So I'm about to show you what I'm planning on using in this corner right here. Just right over here, I do have this um, faux plant, it's like a succulent. Um, I decided to put it here, I had this in storage as well, but the reason that I no longer use it kind of out in the counter is because um, I broke it. So it came with like a concrete uh, base and I dropped it and it broke, uh, but I really like the plant so I decided to keep it and I'm glad I did because it fit in here perfectly. And you really can't see it unless you're looking at it really closely like this. Um, so I don't know, I thought it kind of gave this a little like pop of color. And then right over here I have a toothbrush holder that I got from Ikea a couple years ago. And in here I decided to put the OxyClean gel stick as well as this little brush that I use for clothing whenever I need to kind of get a stain out. I use this, this is just from the laundress. And then I have a Clorox pen. And then right over here I decided to use this Method laundry detergent. Um, I really like the way it smells. I have used their uh, dryer sheets so I knew if they smell like the dryer sheets then I definitely was going to love it. Um, so it fit, here, it fit in here perfectly on the top shelf. And then right on the second one I have this little box that came as a set with the toothbrush holder. Um, and in here I decided to keep these, um, what are these called, the washing machine cleaner tabs. So I decided to put them in there because I don't really use these as often. So I put them in this box and it did, it did come with a lid. So for the lid I actually decided to put the dryer sheets. So whenever I take them out of the dryer I decided to kind of just put them in here because these actually um, ball up into like a little ball. Because they're not like your typical dryer sheet. They're kind of like paper. So I decided to just kind of put them in here and then once I'm done with them or when it gets full, I can just walk them over to the trash can and empty it. And then here I just have one of these like mesh bags that are for like your intimates and like delicates. Um, so I have that here. And then I had these mason jars, so I decided to use them. Um, and I had these lids um, that I was using kind of in the kitchen, but I no longer use them. So in here I have some OxyClean uh, tabs. And then right over here I have 
um, some Clorox tabs that I actually don't use a lot because I actually switched over to this. So this is an all-purpose bleach alternative from the Laundress. So it's like a ton of little like crystals and you basically just put two caps of this into the laundry and it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a more, I don't know, I can't, like how do I say it? It's not, it's like a non-toxic way of using bleach, but it's not as abrasive as using these tabs, but I do still use these from time to time. And then I decided to give this scented vinegar a try for like towels and stuff like that, because I don't know, like towels tend to kind of get like a musty smell sometimes, so I decided to try this out for like anything that kind of has a scent. It's basically vinegar, but if you ever use just straight vinegar, it can leave a scent behind. So I decided to give this one a try, and this one was like the best scent that I found, which is number 247. And then right over here, I have two Lysol laundry sanitizers. I actually do use these a lot. Um, so I have the regular one, which I use on Chris's clothes because he works outside. And, um, you know, I just want to make sure that there's nothing and his clothes, I don't know. So I use that and then I use this one for my son because he does play sports. So I decided to give it a try and this is for baby clothes. So they also have one for sports. So if you work out a lot, they have like a sport version of the Lysol sanitizer. So this is pretty much it. Um, I will leave links down below. So I will be keeping the t-shirt folder in there as well as the collapsible bin. I actually do use that collapsible bin for whenever I need to soak any clothing items that need soaking. Um, so I decided to just leave that in the back because this is so narrow, it fits in here perfectly. So if you have the same concept as I do, go ahead and try this because this is a perfect solution. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope that it motivated you to organize with me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new. And do me a favor and check out some of my other videos. Thank you again and see you on the next one. Bye.